Is that light I see up ahead? to be standing inside a giant bubble by the 12 I think we're on the seabed well well I thought I heard familiar voices Ban, what are you doing here? Hmm, what a curious question. I live here. Then this is the home of the Blue Kojin. Just so. I bid you welcome to Tamamizu. Welcome, guests. Gratitude to you for aiding Soroban in his negotiations. We thank you for your hospitality, honored Elder. Pray forgive me my brevity, but I wish to discuss an urgent matter. So, you seek to compel our Red Brothers to forego hostilities for a time. That's right. We know your two clans have your differences, but what with you being brothers and all, uh, we thought you might be able to share some secret knowledge or something? From far above, you have journeyed here in search of our wisdom. You shall have it. All creation is a tapestry through which the divine is interwoven. Kami are legion, and they can be found in the great and the small. Though they come and go as they please, they favor certain vessels. The ancient, the precious, the exquisite. We Korjin covet these vessels, these treasures. We go forth and bring them home to keep them safe and bask in their divinity. They bring prosperity and joy to us and our children. Yet, how are we to seek these treasures above? If we made enemies of the Galian Empire, powerful and far-reaching as they are, wiser to join with them, so resolved the Red Kojin. Cautiously and carefully, for the Galians are blind to the Divine, nor will they suffer their subjects to see. So the Red masquerade as mercenaries who seek money and power and never speak of their faith in the presence of their masters. To honor the Divine, they deny it. A twisted and misguided path.
Aye, aye. Kami will not abide such foolishness. This they shall learn to their sorrow. While our red brothers live by the sword, we blue Kojin uphold the old ways, engaging in trade and valuing peace. Alas, men distinguish not between our clans, and judgment for the doings of the red falls unjustly upon the blue. Thus do men grow more and more reluctant to deal with us, denying us our treasures. This cannot continue. On that point, we are in agreement. You are willing to aid our cause, then? There is a way that the Red may be driven to retreat into their shells. But to share with you this knowledge is to reveal secrets of the Divine. Assurances must first be had. Trust forged. A bargain struck. Well said, Elder. In great crises is great profit to be had. Delight not overmuch in such things, Sorobon. Now, tell our guests what must be done. As you wish. Well, I've no idea what we've gotten ourselves into, but so far so good, right?
It is done. Your offerings have been given to the sea. The ritual can begin at last. Come and stand before me, my friends. Yes, yes. Listen to my words, and let all else wash away. Listen to my words, and feel them flow into your heart. At first a trickle, then a flood. O Kami of the fathomless waters of the fallen, the ascended, the flowing, and the becalmed, caretakers of the shallows and of the depths, receive of us our meager offerings, cleanse these ones of earth and stone, and grant them your blessing, that they might drink deep of the divine. The ritual is complete, my friends. You may now breathe in the depths as you would upon land. Strange. I don't feel any different. Are you sure it worked? Reasonably. The blessing does have its limits, of course. While it will allow you to dwell in the depths, it will not help you traverse them. I can swim well enough. How about you, Alize? Oh, like a fish, in contrast to my doggy paddling brother. Somehow, the boy just isn't very buoyant. Mm, skilled or no, your bodies are ill-suited to the sea. Your cause demands alacrity, and you shall have it. But first, let us take to the water. Incredible. I could swear I was breathing air. Now I shall summon for you noble steeds of great strength. to the deepest depths of the sea. And so they may. After we've won over the Confederacy, rescued Kusetsu, and liberated your respective homelands. Should you become parted from your steeds, return to me, and I shall call them again. Take care, my friends, and may the Kami speed you on your way. Find that treasure in no time! Come on!
I tire of this filthy tavern, and it's still filthier clientele. This scant reward for your treachery, I. A painted woman of your rich experience deserves a better class of customer. Oh, name calling. Is that what we've been reduced to? Orphan of the Nayuri. Widow of Sashihai. What joy it must have brought you to be revenged upon us all. Not enough. Not nearly enough. My appetite for your agony is as an abyss. Bottomless. Insatiable. Before you die, you will cry and beg and prostrate yourself upon the earth. You will crawl on your belly through the muck and the piss and debase yourself for my amusement. All of you. But you think you are made of sterner stuff? Hmm. Rather than have him beat you, mayhap I should have my oath go and fetch your master's head. Oh, poor, poor Lord Kayan. Kami rest his soul. Noble leader of a fallen nation. A fine puppet he made for the Viceroy. For a time. Twenty-five years he was content to serve his masters as a dog. And then everyone had to rise up and get themselves killed. Tell me, how did it feel to fail him that day? To live with the disgrace of his death? that you were a stranger to living with disgrace, of course. In the what was it? 25 years since you were humiliated and tossed into an imperial jail? You had plenty of time to get used to it. Oh yes, I heard the stories. About the samurai who would do anything to return to his master's side, even if it meant pledging his blade to his sworn enemy. They say he walked with death. That he slew a thousand men in the Empire's name. Truly a tale for the poets. I do not deny my sins. But I will not be reproached by the likes of you. Oh, I mean not to reproach you, but to praise you. You're a survivor, Samurai. Just like me. So, let us not dwell on the past, you and I, and instead give thought to the future. To wit, I would ask you again to help me resolve this vexing matter of Dorma's missing heir. Living or dead, it makes no difference, really. But the Garleans are most insistent that we put this problem behind us. And I know you helped him flee. So tell me, what became of Lord Hien? To my dismay, the details escape me at present. Mayhap your dog could jog my memory. Get on with it, and mark me, brute. There is no limit to how far you can fall. Of all the bloody stupid... <laughs> oh! When I get back to Eorzea... I'm gonna find that little shite, and I'm gonna make him pay. Yeah. Uh.